Hi, I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. When we keep bees the, and think about how a beekeeper can uh, get some money back for the, uh, in the hobby, you automatically think of selling the honey that, the, that you collect. And by all means, that's the most straightforward way of making a return on your bees. Uh, it doesn't require any specialist knowledge but there's a few things that you can do to um, really improve your return. Uh, certainly later in the series of uh, videos, I'll be talking about how to optimize and get the most honey out of the hive. But the simplest thing is in terms of with the honey that you do get, let's look at what you actually get for your honey. So, most beekeepers might start with two hives. Two hives may typically produce 40 to 80 pounds of surplus honey apiece. So we're talking about 80 to 160 pounds of honey from, from a couple of hives. If you're managing them in typical areas and managing them in the typical way that a beekeeper will keep his bees here in Maine. That's with two deep brood chambers trying to build up a big, strong colony with a big population and uh, getting some honey off. So then we get two, maybe three supers of honey um, on average from those hives in a typical year. I would say that's what the hobbyist can typically expect without any uh, uh, interesting manipulation, so we say. So you're then selling your honey and you've got an option. Let's say in your limited amount of honey, you can sell it in two pound jars. Two pound jars, typically I get $19 for a two pound jar. Now, if you're in a holiday area, something like that, you'll get more. Um, but I'm in a more of an urban area. So my prices have to be a little bit more competitive. I'm not competing with Hannaford's or supermarkets or something like that, backyard honey is the premium quality honey. So you're talking about premium prices. But still, I'll be getting just under $10 a pound on my uh, two pound jar. One pound jars. If I sold it all in one pound jars, I'll be getting a minimum of $10 a jar. So I'm already making a bit more if I bottle it in one pound jars. Uh, and if you're in a, the right sort of area, instead of 10 pounds, you might be getting $12, uh, $10. You might get $12 a pound, something like that. So that's another possibility, 160 uh, pounds in one pound jars, $1,600 return. That's not bad. That more than pays for the equipment and even if you had to start with the new bees that year. So, the other possibility is still selling one pound jars. That's, that's, e that's relatively straightforward. Selling 160 pounds of honey. I used to do that easily just going, selling it from my door, door front. So then you have 12 ounce jars. These are little 12 ounce bears. I sell these at $8 a piece. That's, just under $11 a pound, 11, 10 67 I think. 12 ounce bears will appeal more to the sort of family market with young kids and that sort of thing. So it's well worth having some of those smaller jars with uh, in the shape of bears and that sort of thing. But if you really want to make some money on your limited amount of honey that you can produce, you sell it in relatively small containers. And relatively small containers, I would say, Look at selling in eight ounce jars. Eight ounce jars, I sell at $7 a piece. That's $14 a pound. So instead of making $1,600, um, I'm making more like 
I have to do the math in my head, but it's over $2,000. Now, if I sell it in eight ounce jars instead of one pound or two pound jars. So how you sell your um, honey really makes a, a big difference in terms of your uh, return. Obviously, if you make a nice quality label and uh, make a good story behind it, present it well, you're going to get more dollars per, per pound of honey. So think about the packaging that you want to use. But here I'm just using your basic run-of-the-mill um, style of uh, be, uh, queen line honey containers and bears, uh, flat, flat panel bears. These are the sort of things you can pick up easily. Also, I sell them in my store, um, but you can pick them up um, and they're not terribly expensive, um, but it's your least, uh, your lowest cost method of selling your honey. Now, I also like to use, when I'm talking about prices of honey and that sort of thing, I use uh, Hamden Academy as a good example. We started up a beekeeping club at Hamden Academy a few years back, and um, I'll do a video on that uh, uh, particularly. But with Hamden Academy in their first year of beekeeping, they only got half a super of honey, um, and with that, the wax cappings and that sort of thing that that we cut the cappings off to get the honey. So that half super of honey was only 14 pounds of honey. And with the uh, waxed cappings that we saved, we got about five ounces of clean beeswax, which we rendered down and that sort of thing. Now, with that honey, we uh, had, everybody wanted it. So instead of selling it in two pound, one pound, 12 ounce, eight ounce jars, we sold it in four ounce jars because everyone wanted a piece of it. And four ounce jars, we sold it $5 each. That's now $20 a pound. So that 14 pounds of honey now became $280. So you imagine a big tip and extrapolate that to your larger quantities. So, and also, uh, it brings us on to the other products we could make. With the wax, a very limited amount of wax, you really have an opportunity to make a considerable amount more money. And that's by making things like lip balms. Now lip balms, there's a great market for them up here in the nor in northern climates. They are incredibly easy to make. And I'll do a video especially on making lip balms. But they're very inexpensive to make, but you can get a really good return on them. So with that five ounces of beeswax, the kids at Hamden Academy made 135 lip balms because you only need a tiny amount of wax per lip balm. Those lip balms, they also sold at $5 a piece. So from harvesting a single, half a single medium super of honey, where they got 14 pounds of honey and five ounces of wax, the kids made over $900 by selling those products, which paid for another beehive the next year and half a dozen bee suits to expand the club. Now, not everyone's going to get $5 for a four ounce jar, uh, but you'll probably get $4 for it. Um, lip balms, you may not get $5 each, but you certainly get $3 each for them. And so whilst there's different areas where you can get the premium price on the product, on average, doing those things, you're going to make considerably more money than you put into um, buying your bees and that sort of thing. And I'm going to talk uh, in future videos about how we can maximize that. But that's a start in terms of the different ways that you can get some of the return. First of all, on your honey. Um, and if you have honey that uh, you're producing, you're only going to have a limited amount. Think about where you're going to sell it. Are you going to sell it from your front door? Are you going to knock on doors and sell it? Are you going to sell it at a um, uh, farm stand or something like that? You need to get to the next level of selling it at stores and that sort of thing. Then you'll need a honey processing kitchen and that sort of thing. But that, that's the next step up. Well, you still got a couple of um, uh, hives or four hives. When I had four to six hives, I was selling everything I could make 
um, in my local neighborhood. And I would typically run out before Christmas. And there's no reason why you can't do the same. I'm living in a pretty rural, rural area. It's, it's urban, but rural. It's urban for Maine. I mean, the local big city is 30,000 people. So um, most of you watching this may, may be uh, in areas of a higher density of population than that. And so your price is proportionately higher. So I hope you found that uh, helpful. Uh, this is just the way of making more money for your hives. If you got honey and it's a limited quantity, sell it in smaller units. Once you start having larger quantities, then start looking at selling in bigger units, uh, two pound jars, maybe even more. But I've never had the need to sell in bigger than two pound jars. I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. I'll see you next time.